If the Fed is going to look at the market and have the market dictate what they're going to do, they shouldn't even be on the Fed board. For God's sakes, look at the economy, look at where interest rates are, look at where unemployment is, look at what the consumer's doing. The market is being toiled with by traders, not investors. So the bottom line is companies are making a lot of money, Kelly. Their cash flow is huge, their buybacks are huge, their dividends are increasing, everything's there, but you cannot have the stock market or the bond market dictate to what's going to happen with interest rates. Is you have there, to look though, at the economy. Is there an, an element, a, a welcome element of modesty and having these, how many members is it, Steve, of the FOMC? 12? 17. 17. 12, uh, 10 voters. Okay, so having these 17 people at the Fed, Neil, saying, hey, you know, the 17 of us shouldn't be the ones deciding, you know, what's going on in the economy. We're, we're taking the information of financial markets. We're taking the yield curve. We're listening to, to that message. Is there any value in that? Well, I look at it, I mean, the yield is being, uh, it went inverted for, what, 10 minutes because the traders inverted it. It went back and forth. Kelly, the reality of the world, and Steve, the reality of the world is we haven't seen in our lifetime interest rates this low, companies doing this well, in the economy continually be strong in face of the headwinds that we have been facing. And if you look at it, really, we're just recycling every headline. Yeah. It could be the feds, it could be the tariffs, it could be this. It's, I mean, if waste management recycled like we're doing the headlines, they'd be out of room. Yeah. <laughs> Let me bring in Joe Lavornia on that point, because, <laughs> Joe, um, you have a much more bearish outlook than Neil does. So both in the way that you see things and the, and the market message, uh, I guess you'd fall more in the camp. This is the split. I mean, this is why the Fed is split, right? Because the, it's not a clear picture uh, right now for the U.S. economy. Part of it's there, what, 17 people now? Uh, 17. The Fed. There are two openings. So there's a lot of people, and they talk and through social media and CNBC and elsewhere. People want to have a voice. So part of it's always been the case. There's always been disagreements. We just may know about it more publicly. The reason the Fed should go more is the markets are basically telling us they should go more. And I hear Neil's point about the Fed basically always kowtowing to what markets want. But I argue, one, that's been the case for a long time. If the Fed doesn't move more aggressively, uh, markets will basically force them to do so, as what happened last December and early this year. So I'd like to see them go 75 uh, this month. I know they're not going to do it. Why? Because the Fed funds rate is two and an eighth, and the 10-year note is below 150, and even 50. Unless they pledge to do a lot more, 50 won't do it. And I'm worried they're only going to go 25. They're going to send a mixed message, as your uh, segment is highlighting, and uh, we'll be sitting here wondering if the Fed's going to go winter meeting or cutting again in October. And you know, Steve, the reaction to their last meeting tells you, I guess, the problem with this. By trying to split this divide, they have come. They came out with a rate cut that tightened financial conditions, <clears throat> which is the opposite of what you would expect to happen. But again, this messaging about, no, it's just a mid-cycle slowdown as opposed to... An le easing cycle. Which sounds like, again, it's Powell trying yeah. to kind of figure out how to bring everybody here to you unified know, story. I, I, I guess it's my um, predilection as a reporter. I, I see virtue in both Neil's and Joe's arguments. You should um, be on the Fed. I should be on the Fed, maybe. Uh, no, probably not. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, I cannot remember a time when the right move is so uncertain. If Joe is right that the data is going to deteriorate from here, then we ought to be moving and moving aggressively. Neil has on his side strong consumer spending, growth at potential, an inflation rate that doesn't bother me so much to be just a bit below the, you, the target. You know